Hi guys, this is me, Rusty78609, Central Texas, USA. I've mentioned that I'm going on a camping trip in my Prius again, and uh, I thought I'd just let you take a good look at my setup. Again, you know, all of this is individual preference. You know, there's all kind of ways to set your bed up. There's all kind of ways to places and different ways to handle your clothes and stuff. But I'll just give you mine, and then as I go on this trip, uh, I'll show you some pictures of what happens when you're actually camping but i'm leaving tomorrow to go camping for who knows how long it could be three days three months i'm not sure but anyway as you can see it looks a little cluttered which pretty much stays that way when you're camping and uh but anyway what i've got as you can see here in the back that little compartment that lifts up that becomes a pantry and i've got uh, canned goods in there I've got some towels, chips, uh, different things, mostly canned goods because, you know, I can just put that in a bowl and stir it around and make a meal out of it. And then I can buy some veggies and fruits and stuff and I'm cool, good to go. And anyway, the bed, of course, is over here and it's covered right now because I've got my walking stick there. I've got my folding chair. You know, I've got, this is just a regular sheet. And then I've got a comforter uh, over here on the right-hand side that folds over keeps you warm at night. Where I'm going, uh, first of all, the temperature in the mornings will be right around 50, highs in the mid 80s. It's gonna be in New Mexico. And uh, and then later on, I may go up to Angel Fire, which, you know, it'll get it'll be in, believe it or not, in the low 40s this time of the year. And uh, so, but anyway, I'm prepared for that. And you know, all you gotta do when you go camping anytime is just be prepared for the coldest temperature and everything else will work out. Anyway, I'll show you this side over here. There's my little organizer. Uh, that's That works like a charm. I had another one, but it wasn't near as good as this one. Whenever you uh, push the seat forward, whenever you push the front seat forward and then tilt the back forward, then this whole area just becomes a good sitting area. And uh, so what I do in the morning when I get up, I've got my toothbrush there. I've got my little spritzer to spray. And uh, so I just spritz my face and brush my teeth. I've got bottled, I'll have bottled water and, uh, and that's it. So that, I mean, that just becomes the sitting spot for reading books, doing everything. And uh, then these clothes that are up on the, uh, on the bed right now, uh, whenever I get ready to go to bed at night, then they'll just go up here, over here, over this seat behind here, right in here. I'll just lay them over the top and at night, uh, if I got a pee, I just roll out, roll out, and there's a gallon jug there, and I use that to pee in. And um, anyway, I've got some clothes under the mattress, not many, a few. I don't. I've kind of gotten it down to where I don't take near as much. And I'll show you another thing. This is, of course, the driver's seat over here. And uh, what I've got here on the dash, you see this little white. That thing comes in handy because anytime you set your sunglasses down or anything on the dash in the Prius, since it's black. You, you can't see it. So if you put something white up there or light colored, you can see it real easy and remember that you did bring it. You know, I got my little hat and stuff. But anyway, let me go back around here for a second. And, uh, you know, this is going to be a little jittery. You know, remember, I'm 70 years old and my hands aren't that steady. Anyway, and this this uh, this tape right here, this is a painter's tape, two in, or inch and nearly two inch uh, painter's tape. And I use that to hold on the... Uh, these little window covers right here that are no see them. It's a no see them fabric or whatever you want to call it. And you can get it at Lowe's real cheap. There's one there for each window. Uh, sometimes I just put the rear ones up. Sometimes I put all four up. Just depends on the weather, the temperature, if it's cool enough. Uh, if it's cool enough, I'll just do the back. Uh, if it's not, then I'll do all of them so I can roll them down uh, to keep me cool during the night. Uh, anyway, and what I do, you know, this is down here. I failed to mention this a while ago, but down here, uh, underneath the uh, the bed in this area down in here, there's a big opening here, and I'll put either three or four gallons of water in there, and I can put clothes in there. There's a lot of storage right there, so that's where a lot of these clothes are going to go. I've got um, I've got clothes in bags. You know, I've got, got I always keep, take. I've got long sleeve t-shirts in one bag. I've got short sleeve t-shirts and other shirts in this bag, and this thing here just is a 100% uh, polyester fish, fishing shirt and uh, it really works well because it's SPF 30 or above and uh, it, it can triple it's it's a, like a rain a rain jacket uh, windbreaker uh, you know that thing is triple duty it's got a lot of pockets 
for carrying stuff in when you're walking for exercise and so forth. And uh, But anyway, I just wanted to give you a quick heads up that uh, you could see that uh, it can be done. And, uh, and I try to keep this seat here relatively uncluttered because, uh, I don't know, it just... I don't know, it bothers me when I'm driving if there's a lot of junk there and I can't get to things. And of course, in the, right there in the very front up here, you know, I'll put a, a box, of, a three liter box of wine. And uh, I guess that's about it that's going to go there. Uh, and I'll also put a, a thermos, a 32 ounce thermos of, of drinking water uh, there. And then I always take a, when I leave a, a campsite to go to another campsite, I always put a big uh, 32 ounce uh, styrofoam cup of iced tea for me and uh, and uh, that that and the 32 ounces of water gets me through the day and then when I get now I try to drink a lot of water every day and also I don't know if you notice this or not but this right here is my daily checklist on the dash believe it or not when you're camping sometimes you get uh, in a little bit of a rush and you overlook things and uh, you know of course you've got to keep your grocery list you got to uh, you know, there's certain things you got to do, you know, like I've got to set the water out about four o'clock in a gallon jug in the sun to let it start to warm up so I don't have to take a cold shower. And uh, most places I camp don't have showers, so uh, that's the reason for that. But anyway, and then also I take uh, post-it notes. They come in real handy. I'll sh you know what those are. Everybody knows that. But, you know, I take these. I keep them right there in the console. And as I'm going down the highway or doing whatever, I, I make notes. And then I just stick it up here so I can't forget that I need to do certain things. Because, again, I'm older. You young people may not have a problem with that, but uh, I do. So, anyway, again, this is Rusty78609, Central Texas, USA. Uh, just, get, just giving you a heads up. And uh, hopefully uh, all this will work out and uh, I'll have a nice trip. So, be that as it may, y'all enjoy your day. Adios, thumbs up, carpe diem, bye-bye.